Let's get this candy started. Yeah, I'm candy. This is peanut butter. My favorite. My favorite candy is a Hershey Kiss. My favorite candy is a chocolate bar. Yum. Oh, I'm missing my old grinder. Oh, no. I'm stealing it. Let's go. Hey, this is a DIY skeleton costume, hair, and makeup tutorial. This is the absolute perfect last minute look for Halloween. Oh, my little brother says happy Halloween. I'm going to start the DIY first, and what you're going to need is a black t-shirt, A from Pretty Little Liars gloves, stencils, spray adhesive, spray paint, scissors, a ruler, white eyeliner, a pair of leggings, and cardboard paper. For the stencils, I just googled different parts of the skeleton and then printed it out and cut it out using an X-Acto knife or scissors. Then I took a big black t-shirt and mine was really long so I decided to crop it a bit and then I cut off the bottom and I cut around the neck so it would be a little bit less polished I guess you could say. Then I cut off the armholes to make it like a muscle shirt so I could wear a bandeau with it. Then I folded the t-shirt over and used the other side as a guide. After I cut everything out, I used the spray adhesive on my stencil so that it wouldn't move when I was spray painting. Then I sprayed the cardboard and stuck it all around the stencil so that I wouldn't get any of the spray paint on the shirt. And to be extra careful, I stuck another layer of pink cardboard on top. Then I sprayed three coats of the white spray paint till the ribs were opaque. After the spray paint dried, I took off my stencil and all the papers. And a little bit of spray paint did get on the black, so I took my handy dandy marker, which was a lifesaver, and just colored it in, and you have no idea it's there basically, so it was a lifesaver! Now for the gloves, and this was a little bit trickier because I had to do one finger at a time. So I would spray the adhesive on the stencil and then put it on one finger and then cover up all the other fingers with some cardboard so I didn't get any paint on them. And then spray three coats of the paint, and then repeat this process on all the other fingers. So after the fingers were done, I just sprayed on the middle part of the hand, and then the wrist. Just like this shirt, a little bit of white paint did get on the actual glove part, so I just colored it with a marker and you could barely see it. That's all for the DIY costume, now onto hair, and I just did my hair in a sock bun, so I put my hair in a ponytail and slicked it back. Then I rolled my Conair bun maker down my hair and tucked it all in, and then I pinned it so it would be super secure. I also straightened my hair beforehand so that my bun would be a little bit more smooth, but that step is completely optional. Then I hairsprayed back all of my flyaways and that's all for the hair, so now onto makeup. I started by applying a white face paint cream all over my face and lips and then blending it out with a brush. Then I primed basically my entire eye socket and applied a dark charcoal gray color to my lid and lower lash line. I first blended with a clean brush and then I picked up a gray color and blended it out some more with the gray. I wanted the eyes to look a little bit more smoky and gray rather than straight up black because I wanted there to be more dimension when I put on my eyeliner and mascara and the eyes wouldn't get lost in my face. I applied a white eyeshadow to open up my eyeballs a bit on the bottom. Then I curled my lashes and threw on some Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara to both the tops and bottom lashes. Then I outlined my eye socket with a black cream face paint, but a gel liner would work for this too. Okay, now for my favorite part, the crystals! So I took eyelash glue and glued it all around the outline around my socket and used tweezers to place down the rhinestones that I got from Michaels and actually the eyelash glue really worked for this. It like held up super well. Now for the face swirlies, I'm just going to take a liquid liner that I'm not too fond of and don't really care if I mess it up or use it out and use that to draw the face swirly and go over it a few times just to darken it up and then put three dots on each little part 
and then draw a mini one on my chin and put three dots. I drew lines on the lips to represent the skeleton's teeth and I started in the middle and worked my way out. Now for the nose and I first outlined it with that same liquid liner and then filled it in. Since skeletons have sunken in faces, I went ahead and contoured with a charcoal gray eyeshadow. And that's all for the makeup. These are the finished DIY gloves and shirt. I had a pair of 3D skeleton gloves from a previous costume years ago, so I really wanted to wear them. And my leggings are from gojean.com, but black leggings will work just as well, and the best shoes to wear are probably black Converse. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Love you. Bye!